Please speak to you. This is Omar Abdulmalik, physician assistant and health educator. So I'm here with my newly minted PA colleague. So I'll let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Nikita. Yeah. So um, how long have you been a PA? So like Omar said, I am newly minted and like fresh off the boat. Mm -hmm. I have been a PA since October of 2018. Okay. And where did you go? I actually graduated from Howard University, so I am a bison, bison. <laughs> class of 2018. Yeah. Okay. And um, what did you do before, uh, PA, before PA school? So my track to PA school was a little different. I initially went to undergrad with the intention of being an MD and somehow diverted to the track of being a hospital-based speech pathologist. So my specialization was dysphagia and neuro and long-term acute care. Okay. Hmm. That's very, very interesting. So how, <laughs> how long did you do that? Oh my God, let's just say I was a speech pathologist for over 10 years and I am actually still dual licensed oh, okay. in North Carolina, Washington, D.C. and I was licensed in Maryland and California, but I kind of let that go. Cool. We're, we're both older than we look. Yeah. <laughs> I so, thought she was a kid. <laughs> I'm juggling two professions, but right now awesome. I'm concentrating on medicine, yeah. taking a break from speech path. Excellent, excellent. So um, yeah. um, what, um, what have you enjoyed most about being a new PA? So the learning curve. Not everybody's going to say this, but I really thrive on learning new things. I feel like my life is wasted if I don't learn something new every day. So I felt like going into PA was a natural next step for me versus starting from scratch and going into the MD. Yeah. So. And um, what do you tell like most challenging? So most challenging yeah. as a new PA. That's interesting because it can be a couple of things. One, it's coming straight out of school and being so used to the rigor and the academics mm -hmm. and then going into a job. So that's been a transition. Transitioning from your book knowledge to clinical practice, that's a bit of a transition. And then being here in an LTAC, the learning curve is a lot different because most PA programs, and be aware, train you to be in primary care. Yeah, yeah. They do not train you to be in acute care, ICU, long-term acute care, which is what we're doing here. That's right. So um, yeah. LTAC is a long-term acute care uh, management center. So I talked about this in other videos, people who've had strokes, MIs, yeah. gunshot wounds, car accidents. Car, yeah, yeah, car accident. Yeah. Respiratory failure, that's what we do. That's a big one. Respiratory yeah. failure yeah. is a big one. Yeah. And yeah. Um, what advice would you have for um, PA students who are about to graduate? So as a student, you're probably all wondering, how was the pants? The pants is not that bad. It really isn't. It's long, it's grueling, but it's not that bad. If you can get through the pack rats, you can do it. Yeah. And, and then the pack rats are like our practice um, yeah. Pants exams. That's a, yeah. Pants is a mm -hmm. physician assistant national certification exam. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. so did you do your own? Did you do a review course? So I did not do a review course. Instead, I actually challenged myself and I bought Exam Guru, mm -hmm. which is what the pre MD students use for shelf exams. So I basically took every shelf exam wow. for the MD. So I took, it's, it's fairly expensive, so if you have a good friend, split it. We did. There were three of us. For, for the MD? Um, for exam guru. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I used to study, and we essentially took a shelf exam okay. as if we were MD students. Okay. And if I could pass the shelf exam, yeah. I could pass the pants. <laughs> that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Because when, when I graduated, so I graduated um, 19 years ago, so in uh, 2000. We didn't have a lot of um, pants review books. We had right. Appleton and Lang, right. and then um, um, one by uh, Zarbach. Mm. Um, and that was, I think that might have been it. So we were using like Yosemite Step 1 and Step 2. 
Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah. that's still relevant. Just yeah. because he graduated 19 years ago yeah. does not yeah. mean that's not relevant. <laughs> um, we actually used the USMLE books. We used board review. Board review books are very good. They break it down for phys, patho, neuropedes. Yeah. I also use the Lang book. Yeah. I also use pants, prep pearls. Yeah. That was an excellent Dwayne book. Williams, right? Dwayne Williams, yeah. excellent book. Good job, brother, if you see yes. this. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow him on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't know him, follow yeah. him on Instagram yeah. and or Facebook. Yeah. He actually spoke at our graduation. Really? Yeah, we actually that. came. He came to our school, met with him, and he spoke at our graduation. What else did I use? Oh, any of the step one books, step two books? Those are really good. So essentially, any of the books that you're using for med school, we use. Yeah. It's so like if there's yeah. um, first aid, I think is a, yes. a good one. Yes, we use first aid yeah. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So what um, what advice would you have for new graduates who are like just, they're like literally mm -hmm. just graduated, just passed their pants and they're trying to get that first job? that first job so my advice would be stick to your guns if you know what specialty you want to go into stick to it I knew in second year I'm either going to emergency or I'm going to ICU acute care because I have the background in speech path and had been in an LTAC before this was a great first job for me because I've, yeah. I know what an LTAC is but stick to your guns please do not just take a job to take a job Remember, you are here because you want to be here. Yeah. Like this, do something you love. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely negotiate your salary. Make sure you look at the salary report from the NC, NCCPA. Yeah. yeah, make sure you look at the salary report. Negotiate your salary. See what's out there. Talk to people. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good way. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. She's had a busy day. Yay! <laughs> I'm still at work yeah, after yeah, 8 o'clock, yeah, right? Yeah. And I'm doing a night shift. So I literally <laughs> have been here for 13 yeah. hours. Yeah. And remember, I'm a new grad. Right. And on Friday, yeah. I was here for 15 yeah. hours. Yeah. So so we like we pass the baton <laughs> to each other. Like, here, you take it. <laughs> You're like, here, I'm out yeah. of here. Goodbye. There were two codes of rapid response. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but that's the great thing. Like, yeah. We have yeah. a really good team, and as a yeah. new grad, I felt very comfortable coming into an already established, already seasoned mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. And Dr. O over here was very willing to be my mentor. I kind of made him into my mentor. Yeah, we we learned from each other. <laughs> so that's the other thing, too. Look for a very strong team who's willing to mentor you as a new grad if you're going to something that's going to have a very steep learning curve, yeah, yeah. which is what I've sought out and which is what my whole team has done for me. Yeah, yeah. So hospitalist medicine, I had done a, um, yeah. a uh, previous video on this. Mm -hmm. It's hospitalist. I love hospitalist medicine because yeah, it's, it's just, it's like so much internal medicine yes you've got to have your yes some of you guys were asking me like what's the most important class all of them but i would say um, in particular pathophysiology um, pharmacology and your clinical chemistry i know how much you hate farm yeah. people cry during yeah. farm yeah. i it was hard <laughs> but he is correct if you know patho and you know farm it will make your life so yeah. much easier yeah. 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 But. so you guys um, yeah. that are uh, PA students or pre-PA students or you're trying to figure out what the heck you want to do in life, um, mm -hmm. consider the, the uh, PA career. It's a great career. I've also interviewed some other people on, um, on uh, this channel because um, yeah. it's a whole team, occupational therapy, physical therapy, registered dietitians. Um, Don't forget patient. speech. Yes, yeah, speech. I was going to do it. Gosh. <laughs> so, speech, um, therapist and uh, just yeah. case management. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a whole team effort. But I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. Mm -hmm. I'd invite you to, to um, subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to, it's fine. You know, just check uh, some of the other uh, videos out and maybe those will help guide you to uh, see what it is what you want to do. But take care. Peace. Yeah. Goodbye. It was yeah. nice to meet all of you. Ask any questions. Yeah. We're here. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. No, it was great.